Hooey! Oh, oh. <laughs> I, hey, well, that's over with. Yeah. You know, Gobo, there were times when I thought we would never get out of those caves. Oh, I know. <laughs> Sometimes I felt like Russell Chick had created the whole world. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, with, with Dana Spot supplying the moss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder where Marlin is. Yeah. He said he'd pick us up here. Yeah, well, how'd Marlin manage to run a stretch limo anyway? Oh, he convinced Kim Hester it was needed for the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that sounds like him. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that key light awfully bright? Hmm? Oh, that's the sun, Wembley. What? Well, you can't blame Gordy, Keith, Tom, and Dave for everything. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, hey, aren't the others going with us? Oh, uh, no. They're all busy upstairs, planning their new career moves. Oh. Hello, Bernie. Yeah, listen, sweetie, I just wanted to let you know that the Henson gig is history. Yeah, magic. So, I understand you're looking for a leading man for the new Meryl Streep comedy, and I'm at liberty, so I... Uh... Hello? 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 Bernie? <sighs> Ooh. She shoots and she almost scores. Hmm. Oh, well. Hmm. Uber, how's it going? Oh, it's a disaster, Moki. Fraggle Rock has ruined my image as a romantic lead. Oh, well, personally, you know, I'm not really interested in acting anymore. <sighs> no, my screenplay's my real interest. So how come you're only typing with one finger? Uh -huh. Huh? Oh, I can't touch type right now. Trish isn't here. <laughs> Hell, well, Marlin better get here soon, or we won't get that ride in the limo. Mm. And I wanted mm. to go over to Curry's and have some shabu-shabu and a mm. couple of jars of sake. Yeah. yeah. But the boss wants us back here at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock? <laughs> hey, Gogo, what you doing now that the show's over? Oh, I got a singing job. <gasps> no kidding! Yeah. I open at the pilot Saturday night. Fantastic! <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm billing myself as Gobo the Frosty Fraggle. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, great! Uh, hey, Gobo, did, did you ever notice that planner over there? Are you sure Steve Finney decorated this set? So, uh, Red, uh, what are you doing now that Fraggle Rock is closing down? Oh, no problem! I just signed a long-term Canadian contract! You're kidding! Well, with who? Uh, CBC? CTV? Global? The Maple Leafs! I like to alternate between acting roles and scoring goals! <laughs> I'm trying to negotiate a TV clause so that only George and Ron can do my close-up. Huh, don't blame you. Mm. <laughs> Is this Mr. Crane? Yeah, Jack, baby, how are ya? Boober here. Hey, listen, Pussycat, I was looking at the journal last night, and you could use some new blood there. And so listen to this delivery. This has been the journal for Friday, May 16th. I am Boober Fraggle. Jack, Jack, ja hello, Jack? Jack? Red, isn't um, hockey a difficult game? Ooh, it's a tough sport, all right. It takes real teamwork. That's why Sherry and Granada are coming with me. Well, somebody's got to do the hockey stick rigs. You've come to depend on the old team quite a lot, haven't you? Well, and I suppose you haven't. But... Uh, Moki, answer me. Why are you just standing there? I am waiting for Harley to cut to my close-up. Well, come on. <sighs> Finally, he cuts to me. Typical. <laughs> Hey, you think it's gonna rain this afternoon, Wembley? Oh, uh, well, I'll tell you the truth, I don't think it can rain at all unless George Clark and Tim McElkin are around. <laughs> uh. Hey, by the way, Wembley, what are you doing now that the show's over? Eh, uh, I'm not making any plans. <laughs> In fact, there's only one thing I know I'm gonna do for sure. Oh, what's that? 
buy a new shirt. I am so sick of banana trees. I should think so. <laughs> I don't know, maybe a white Italian suit and some red shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody's wearing, according to Tim Gosley. Is this Mr. Angus? Oh, hi, Terry. Listen, this is Boober Fraggle. Yeah, I, I understand you're putting together a pilot out on the coast. Yeah, Halifax. Well, I thought maybe you were looking for a romantic lead, you know, sort of a Don Johnson type. Hello? Hello, Terry? Oh, Centrex. Oh my, how time flies when you're just... <laughs> 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 Kathy. Uh, yeah, 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 I guess I um, don't need these apple boxes. <laughs> Bobby and Bill would have known that. <laughs> Jim, mm. down girl, down. Good grief, how embarrassing. <laughs> oh my, mm. how time flies. The boss should be here soon. <laughs> hey, what's your screenplay about, Mookie? Oh, it's called... Girls of the 60s. Oh. It's a vehicle for Cheryl Wagner and Nikki Turo and me. Oh, ooh, for sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> gonna be great. <laughs> hey, Mookie, you know, uh, you're looking really happy these days. Oh, well, uh, you noticed. Aw, oh, come on, what's up? Well, um, to on, tell you the truth, I have a boyfriend. <gasps> oh, oh, no kidding, you have anyone I know? Well, uh, Garloo. Garloo? Yes, yes, oh, yes. You're going with John Pattison's ventriloquist dummy? Mm -hmm. He is just so cute. <laughs> mokey, mokey, mokey. Uh, you're from two different worlds. Uh, you don't even have the same style of lip sync. I know. That's what I like about him. Now, now, Rob, wait a minute, Mr. Mills. We'll just talk it over with Gord. I'd love to become an ink spot. Hey, Wembley, who is that guy? I don't know, but he sure looks familiar. It won't work. Shot's too wide. Yeah, that's better. Uh, I sure wish Marlon would get here. Yeah, I wish I had a right hand. <laughs> Where's Bob Stutter, Mike Peterson? Whoa. Oh, you oh. okay, Wimbley? Yeah, I'm okay, but wait a minute. So something was wrong when I hit my head. Oh, what's that? Uh, well, it didn't go bonk. When I hit my head, it always goes bonk. <sighs> oh, that was in the good old days, Wimbley. Yeah, if you want your head to go bonk, you need Floyd, Peter, and Brian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, what time is it? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, Wimbley, I've forgotten how to tell time. What? Yeah. Al Wiley always told me what time it was. Oh, right. And the harlots, Carol, Linda, and Sarah, told him. Right. Oh, yeah. Of course, he wouldn't listen. No, no, no. <sighs> Sandra Shamas? Hi, how are you? This is Boober. L listen, sweetie, I caught your act at Yuck Yucks the other night. Oh, you were boffo, really? But you know, you could use a straight man. You know, somebody with great timing who could, what? Huh? Boober. Boober Fraggle. I'm the one with the cap over his eyes. Oh! Well, I give up. Marlon isn't coming. I yeah. guess we better get back. Don't want to keep the boss waiting. No, the boss gets real mad. Oh, right. Hey, come on, we'll go upstairs. Oh, not me. I'm not climbing all those steps. <laughs> oh, you've gotten spoiled, eh? I'll say. When we were doing the show, Pat Hamilton or, or Wayne Ricketts would just edit us upstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. Hey, you guys, um, isn't the boss supposed to be here now? Yeah, where is he? Cut! Yeah. Oh. Cut! Oh, cut! Goodness cut. gracious sakes. That was... Beautiful! Oh. Beautiful! Oh. Honey, oh. lovey, sweetheart, oh. baby, good! Thanks, boss! Yeah. 
You know, Watts, well, since you started directing, you sure have changed. Well, True. Well, but baby, that last take was a buy. Mm -hmm. Not unless one of you guys want another do or die. Huh? Uh, well, otherwise, uh, I'll call it a wrap. Mr. Hunt? Yes, <laughs> Sir, uh, yeah, oh, didn't you just call cut? Yes, why? Well, because the video's still going on. Yes. Tape is still rolling. Oh, yeah. What's going on Cut. Here? Cut. Uh -huh. Cut. Richie, baby. It was close, but it didn't have any real sense of... Authority. Yeah, yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? I know just Let's do what you mean. One more for luck. Look, buddy, I'm the director here. Oh, no, you got it wrong. I'm the director here. Well, I, I'm not, I have no time to talk about this. I'm sorry. Uh, Marlon's got my stretch limo double parked downstairs. Fine. So, yeah. It's okay. I'll what do you think this is? Hockey night in Canada? Oh, well, Give me a break. Gee, what's with those two? Who knows? Hey, weren't we supposed to end this with a song? Well, we were, but we can't start without Gobo and Wembley. Yeah. Where are they? Oh. We're here. We decided to come to the party. They've got elevators here. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific. We'll join you. But before we go, we just want to say, don't feel bad if some of you weren't mentioned in this video. Mm -mm. Mm, we had jokes about everyone. But when Larry Markin asked for overtime, Jerry Lee said no. Yeah. Mm. Hey, come on, let's go. OK. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> There's a story going round that fraggles over now. There's a story going round, the show is through. But we're here to tell the truth about it anyhow. That we'll live as long as silly creatures do. We're the wonder in the children who believe in us. Makes us proud to say it as you're leaving us. With a work and play of you who made us real. We'll work together some tomorrow. We'll be together once again. Don't ask me how, but we'll achieve it. Believe it, we'll be back. We'll be new, we'll be the same.